On Thursday night, the Princess of Wales, the King, the Queen Consort, and the Prince of Wales made their way to Westminster Abbey for the annual Together at Christmas Carol service, despite the bitterly cold weather. It was business as usual for a beaming Catherine, who was the first to arrive for the concert hosted by herself. She was later joined by her family, placing a supportive hand on Prince George's back as he entered the service hand in hand with his sister Princess Charlotte and father Prince William. When the Waleses appeared at the event, they received huge cheers from the public with shouts of, Catherine we love you, William we love you. According to the UK's Express, about 500 people braved the cold outside the Abbey for the arrival of the Prince and Princess of Wales for the concert. William and Catherine arrived at the entrance to the Abbey which was decorated with Christmas trees and snow. As the Waleses emerged from their car a huge cry went up from the adoring crowd. Brazilian national Ella Santos from London waited for hours ahead of the royal family's arrival. She cried, Prince William we love you. Catherine we love you. We support you. We love this family so much. There were cries of, we support you even more, as the family walked the short distance to the abbey doors as a crowd of photographers lights flashed. The Waleses were swiftly followed by King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla who waved to the crowds lining the street outside the Abbey. The Carol Concert comes on the day Netflix released the final three episodes of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell documentary. But support for the royal family was strong among the crowd cheering the arrival of the King, Queen Consort, William, Catherine and their children. Ella said, What, Harry and Meghan, claim they are doing to them? is exactly what they are doing to the royal family. Saying the royal family are smearing them, but aren't they doing the same? The concert on Thursday night also featured the Countess of Wessex. She wore a high-neck cream midi dress and a long white coat, paired with brown-heeled boots and an animal print clutch bag. She was joined by Princess Eugenie who attended the carol service with her husband Jack Brooksbank. Eugenie was seen in the sixth episode of Harry and Meghan's Netflix series today, visiting the family at their home in Montecito, California. Princess Beatrice arrived with her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi and the pair greeted waiting crowds with warm smiles. Also present was Prince Michael of Kent and his wife Princess Michael. The Prince of Wales was met by his wife as he arrived at the Abbey with their two eldest children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The young princess wore a deep red coat a shade matching her mother's dress, while Prince William showcased a coordinated maroon tie. The mother of three added matching high heels and carried a pair of gloves and a crop clutch bag. She wore coordinating earrings in the same tones, and let her signature blow-dried hairstyle and subtle makeup accentuate her flawless lines. The Princess of Wales greeted clergy at the door of the abbey before going inside where she chatted with guests and enthusiastically high-fived children. Catherine met and thanked those taking part in the service, including Paddington star Hugh Bonneville and singer Melanie C. Catherine's parents Carol and Michael Middleton were at the concert, as well as her sister Pippa and her husband James Matthews, and her brother James and his wife Ollie Z. More than 1,800 people gathered at the Abbey for the concert, staged to recognize the selfless efforts of individuals, families, and communities across the UK, and celebrate and showcase the joy that human connection and togetherness can bring. Kensington Palace said the second carol service Catherine has held is dedicated to the late Queen Elizabeth II and the values she demonstrated throughout her life, including duty, empathy, faith, service, kindness, compassion and support for others. The palace said these principles are shared and personified by the inspirational guests who have been invited to the Abbey in recognition of their tireless work to help and care for those around them. A Christmas tree in the Abbey is decorated with small Paddington bear decorations, a nod to the late Queen's famous sketch, while guests were greeted with atmospheric snowflakes from a snow machine as they arrived at the entrance. The world-renowned Westminster Abbey Choir performed some of the nation's most beloved carols, including O oh Come, All Ye Faithful, which was selected through a public poll last week. The carol sat alongside musical performances by guests including Craig David, Alexis French and Samantha Barks, and there was a special duet from Alfie Bow and Melanie C. The event will be broadcast as part of Royal Carols, Together at Christmas, a special program narrated by actress Catherine Zeta-Jones, airing on ITV1 on Christmas Eve.
The royal engagement comes as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have released the second installment of their explosive Doka series. New revelations from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have coincided with the special festive carol service. In the Netflix series, Prince Harry has discussed his strained relationship with members of the royal family, chiefly his brother Prince William. Recalling a family meeting at Sandringham House, the Duke of Sussex said, It was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me, and my father say things that simply weren't true and my grandmother quietly sit there and sort of take it all in.